Hey everybody, and thank you for coming back to Dale Chanel's 40s World, where we do entertainment news, okay? What's the buzz about? It's hidden social media. Things are changing in the radio personality, the urban waves, yes. None other than Tom Joyner. Yes, the Tom Jonah Morning Show is passing the torch on to Ricky Smiley, y'all. Ricky Smiley crew. Yes, they two frat brothers doing it on thing. The old is going out and the new is portraying a higher level, how you call it, higher elevation. Yes, they got their team together. Um... Come January 2nd, 2020, they will be taking over Tom Joyner Morning Show and it will be turning into the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, I guess. I don't know, but they don't moved over to Urban AC. Their um, panel guests or who they got on their team is none other than Ricky Smiley, Gary with the T. Eva Marcel. Now, you see how she did that? She went over to Dish Nation, subbed in for Portia, Ricky Morning Smiley Show, and uh, solidified herself on something else other than the Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's her second, well, that's her first job. And then this new personality radio host she's going to be doing with um, Ricky Smiley. Now, you see, Claudia Jordan didn't last too long. <laughs> They just didn't like her here in Atlanta and probably across the whole waves uh, of the global world. So I don't know what that says. Even myself can come pick up a, a job with Dish Nation and a Ricky Smiley show. Oh, I tell you, the girl is bad. <laughs> But it's funny because I still haven't heard. Now, the Brad is going over there. And Miss Juicy is going over there on Urban AC that would take place on the radio waves uh, on January 2nd, 2020. Uh, got its old cast, really, itself for head crack. Head crack, though, has elevated. He's going into his own new morning show, and it's called The Morning Hustle. Now, he hadn't unveiled his team. I'm hoping Portra is somewhere around now <laughs> because in Gary's, uh, no, I'm sorry, not Gary, but Ricky Smiley's team that he said was going to come over with him. And I don't know if it's going to be stationed in Birmingham, Alabama or not, or, you know, because you can go global on just like the internet uh so and tom john he was fly jock that's what we called him and he was somewhere everywhere he's in atlanta he's in dallas he was in birmingham you know you know sort of like a radio syndicated sh show we're well, not syndicated show but just across the airways i guess but i don't know where he's covering and whatnot but honey <laughs> the brat show jumped on that team uh, Ricky Smiley didn't let her go, didn't let Lil Juicy go, and you know he still kept his partner in crime, Gary, with the T. So they all solidified over there on his new radio platform show. Okay, and I'm like, okay, okay, I hear him. And I heard Head Crack got his little promotion, his new um, radio show where he's going to be like Ricky Smiley, Tom Joyner. Steve Harvey, you know, they put him in a seat where he's going to control things, but on a lower platform than what Ricky is going for. He even said it when they were doing the interview over uh, the Internet or they were like maybe Skyping or whatnot. Um, he said that he's going to be like the version where Ricky Smiley is portrayed as the Cosby show and he's coming uh, as the parent show or uh, parent company produce where he's uh gonna be starring like in a different world so that was a a really good analogy uh because both of them did very well very well i even started like in a different world more so than the cosby show you know but it had its foundation starting with the cosby show and then it's turn off to a spinoff show where you know a different world was cast in where they could the character that's kind of grew up on a, a, the cosby show they transitioned if they wanted to or were asked to join the, some of the cast as a, you know, reoccurring star of the show or, you know, or just permanently there uh, on the show every time it aired an episode. But I was like, okay, okay. I mean, Atlanta Black Star brought it out, but I listened to Tom John and Morning Show anyway on 102.9 here in Atlanta. And uh, I knew he was retiring. He's doing his little crew, last crew, last little show 
that's gearing up for him. And so, I mean, he's he's been doing it for 25 years. So, you know, he's not like in his 30s or 40s or even 50s. So it's time for him to sit down and do something and just enjoy life, you know. Even though I think he did it real well. Uh, traveled a lot of places, talked to a lot of people, been rubbing. Oh, excuse me. Rubbing shoulders and elbows with the who's who. So he's very well solidified in the radio entertainment news feed. So that's good. That's good. Retire. Enjoy life now. Uh, and start, um, how do you call it, appearing on other people's shows. <laughs> and get some tea. Uh, let them interview you instead of you being the interviewee. But anyway, yes, Tom Jarner, he has blessed his heart. He's retiring from the air, uh, radio airways, and that's a good thing. But Atlanta Black Star actually did a write-up on him, and I would like to go on into it because uh, it was one of my hot topics for Saturday, uh, June 29th. The story broke today. See that? We on point. I don't know when it was brought out, but like I said, I'm on Eastern Standard Time. Didn't give me anything of a time when it was uh, posted, but we have a journalist by the name of Daryl Nelson. He wrote this piece about Tom Joyner and um, him passing the torch to Ricky Smiley because Ricky Smiley had got into it with the, I don't know what radio station he cast it up here in Atlanta, but they had, they was in some blows and he just went off the radio and somebody else was taking over for him and, you know, Dish, he wasn't even appearing on Dish Nation anymore. So I guess it was like a contract dispute or whatnot. He had to lay low for a while until, he, you know, he had something else in the works, which we see he was talking to Tom Joyner uh, about, I guess, filling in for him. I mean, he probably, Tom probably maybe was his ace. That's who he wanted to replace him. But he probably interviewed other people too. But, you know, when Ricky Smiley probably interviewed with the big bosses and stuff of their little network, radio network, um, they, Ricky just warned them over, I guess, you know. And then with the shoe in the car that uh, Tom already wanted, Ricky, you know, that's his frat brothers. And, you know, when you're connected with these fraternities and sororities, they try to help, you know, one another. So, ain't nothing wrong with that. Just hear what it is. Uh, but let's get into this article that Daryl Nelson wrote on the Tom Joyner Morning Show. Okay, it says Tom Joyner, Rick Smiley will be his replacement when he retires this year. Okay, Rick Smiley will be taking over for Tom Joyner when the radio legend retires at the close of this year. That's 2019, people. Keep up. The announcement was made on Friday during the Tom Joyner Morning Show, which began over two decades ago. Smiley will take over the reins. In January 2020, and I think it's January 2nd, he'll be taking it over from looking at the interview that they did on um, social media. Um, and he will be joined by Eva Marcel and Gary with the T as his co-host. And you see how Eva Marcel slid into that? Do you see how she, that's why I said sometimes education ain't always out there where uh, you have your bachelor's or master's or whatnot, and you think everything is good and gravy, or you even connect it to a um, divine nine type of uh, affiliation or black history, um, college black history colleges uh, or HBUCs, black you know colleges predominantly. But <laughs> she just was, you know, a little top model uh, person running around here, getting her accolades in the modeling field. And then somehow she got, you know, playing on other, like, TV programs. Uh, I think she appeared on a soap opera. Uh, I don't know if it was my soap opera. I was watching Young and Restless or Bold and Blue. I forgot which one, but I know she was on one on for a little minute. And, you know, she's just been getting her little feet wet and everything. Like she said, film, TV, uh, modeling. Now she's on the radio ways. Excuse me. As a uh, host. I'm kind of sleeping now. Okay. But anyway, just trying to, you know, get off this sleepiness that I'm on. And I'm kind of tired. Anyway, I did some yard work today. I was out there cutting grass, y'all. Woo, but that's neither here nor there. That's not what y'all came to hear about. But getting back to Tom John uh, and Ricky Smiley. Yes. Uh, and even myself. You see how she don't went uh, from the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Still there as a peach holder. Then she got her little... A radio personality where she is our co-host. She really wasn't like Portia just pushed off, you know, 
Oh, I don't wonder why I'm breaking and give her that opportunity. But hey, that's neither here nor there. Uh, I don't know if that's a side eye type of moment or, or slap in the face or, or whatnot. However, she may view it. I don't know why she really wasn't given the opportunity. But again, it is what it is. And I guess she still does appear on Dish Nation, which is another uh on TV type of radio entertainment advertisement show you know what I'm saying uh so <laughs> I, I don't know I think Portia need to really be uh playing up her role on Real Housewives of Atlanta because she might not have but just that job because I tell you that that I'm like oh okay that's what we do that's what we do even just slid on in there do you hear what I'm saying so, and she didn't really have that position until Portia let her take her job over while she, you know, dished in maternity land and, you know, had her baby. That's why I said sometimes when you're trying to solidify your career, it's not good to be sitting, you know, having families right up at the spur of the moment because, you know, you take off time, somebody else come in, do a fantastic job, and they be looking at you. Why we got her? The ratings went up, you know, X, Y, Z. Uh, exceptionally, you know, and Portia only gives us what, uh, mediocre. Woo, I'm like, mm mm. Sometimes when you're in the grind and you're trying to make things happen, you need to stay focused on that career. <laughs> and then when you don't got, you know, where you, you your ratings are up, everybody loves you, just that and the third, then you go and try to say, okay, maybe I can, you know, take a, some time off and, you know, I don't need nobody to really replace me that, you know, Somebody's going to end up trying to look at taking my job. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, uh, basically, we're going to continue with this article. That was just my side pun because I had to go in because I was like, I was side eyeing. I'm like, wait a minute now. Did he become one? Did he was sliding over there having babies and still doing it on thing. See, that's what I'm saying. And see, Eva got time because her baby is going to be dropping soon. So, her new job with uh, Rick and Smiley and the new show and the new hosting position she got don't start the next year. You see where I'm going with this? So, her baby dropping with July, August. So, Eva had August, September, October, November. See, she's going to be cool. She's going to be please. You know what I'm saying? And Portia's sitting up there. Oh, okay. Take pointers, Portia. Take pointers, okay? All right. Moving on from there, though. But it says Rick and Smiley. They give a picture of both Ricky and uh, Tom. And they're throwing up their little signs they do when they in their little fraternity clique. You know, letting them know who they from, what organization they from, what frat they're from. Uh, and, you know, just laughing like, you know, mentor, mentee. You know what I'm saying? And then it goes on to say, I'm happy to see the landscape of urban AC morning radio continue to expand with Ricky. And I'm proud of the doors. The Tom Joyner Morning Show opened, said Joyner, in a press release. 25 years ago, there was no template for a syndicated urban radio show. So I was right when I said syndicated. Okay, we're going on. Syndicated urban radio show, and we work hard to prove that we could successfully produce and market a national platform that would entertain, inform, and empower African-American listeners, he added. Yay, we done a lot, but there's still a lot to be done, Joanna continued. I'm confident that Ricky, Ricky's act, activism, along with his love for radio, the community, and HBCUs, will pick up where we left off. Although the 69-year-old just named Smiley as his successor, he announced his retirement back in 2017 and said he'll walk away from the show after the show reaches its 25th year. Reportedly, the Tom John and Warner show has more than 8 million listeners each morning in over 100 markets, making it the most popular radio show in the black community. In that same press statement, Smiler also spoke about taking over for Joyner and explained what the Alabama native means to him. It's an honor to continue the legacy of my boss and frat brother, Tom Joyner said Smiley. Not only has he been a friend to my family and me over the years, but we consider him family. Tom's mentorship, mentorship has instilled in me value, valuable wisdom that I will carry with me through this new morning show. Smiley also shared the news Friday on Instagram and people said they were really happy for him. 
Congrats, Ricky and the whole gang. I think you guys would do great. Someone wrote beneath this his post. Fans also sent their well wishes and thank you to join. I've been waiting for this. One person wrote on Instagram, good luck, Tom, and what you have done for black people can never be uh, measured. So I'm like, okay, cool, 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 cool. But I wonder, are they, like I said, somebody hit me up and tell me if they're going to be in Birmingham, Alabama, you know, uh, in that little uh, state doing their doing thing. Because it's a lot of stuff, uh, political stuff that's going down there in Alabama. And it will be see. It would be fitting to see how Ricky and his team are going to attack some of those topics uh, down there that is happening as we speak. So, interesting. 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 <laughs> and I'm like, how's the commute going to be for Miss Eva Marcel? Yes. What, what, what is it going to look like? I mean, she got three children. So, her husband, uh, Mike Sterling, he's going to... Uh, be a, a da daddy, uh, daddy daycare type of situation, or you see, you're gonna be running in politics. I don't know, <laughs> but like I say, it's gonna be interesting. But I thought that was a great hot topic. Uh, one person passing uh, the torch to another person and watching them excel on something that's already an elevated platform. So we'll see what Ricky do. I hope he don't get cutting up down now in Alabama star stuff. <laughs> and then he had to go in the black again, go off air and, and look for non-competing clauses of where he can practice his radio announcement type capabilities. I mean, like, <laughs> Ricky has really, really, really... <laughs> He is funny when he does stuff, when he feel very passionate and um, convictive. I mean, his spirit is convicted in getting something done, whether it's the popular opinion of others. He, he do it. That's all I let a brother be doing it, okay? But anyway, correct congratulations to Tom Joyner and his finally uh, getting a chance to retire and feel that what he did in those years, he was being a radio announcer personality, uh, as being uh, well kept and in good hands, uh, passing the torch to his frat brother, Ricky Smiley, wished them both success. Um, Tom and his retirement uh, age and, and, and smelling the roses, as we say, and then Ricky still gearing up, making his moves so one day he can retire in his late 60s or well, we don't want to hear him when he gets 70. <laughs> so, yes, bow our gracefully pass the torch to another young brother or young man, whatever the culture may be, and, and, and wish them well as well. So that was my uh, hot topic trending on social media. Tom Joyner passes the torch of the radio broadcasting ways to his frat brother, Ricky Smiley. Well done, brothers. Well done. Ah, peace and blessings to you all and, I, and to all a good night.